Hello, this is Heather with Ocean Sandy Gores and Pearly Shell Fiber Arts. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the myths of Angora. Um, we hear a lot of myths of Angora. Um, as the breeds have changed a lot, and so have um, our expectations of our herds, and we're really turning them into a commercial animal. So this is Colt. Colt is a three-year-old French Angora. You can see he's very sweet. He loves to be petted. He loves attention. Now, Colt is shorn every three to four months, um, even though he's a French. A lot of people say the French are pluckable. Any rabbit is pluckable when they molt their coat. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that's the best choice for many, many reasons. One of the biggest reasons is because um, you can't control when that coat comes out. So now Colt grows a coat back every single time I shear him. You can see this is a good four to five inch coat here with correct guard hairs. That's another myth is that they don't get back correct guard hairs when you shear them. That is completely untrue. He has beautiful guard hair definition. Um, and the other thing about this is that because he doesn't doesn't molt, he doesn't tend to mat. Um, molting can sometimes lead to coat getting trapped, which will lead them to matting. He doesn't need to be groomed every week. This is just him out of the cage, and he looks nice, and this coat is nice and free and open. So, now why do people think they used to be able to be plucked? Because they did. Every species used to be able to be plucked. Sheep, um, alpacas, anything has been bred to hold their coat. And that is one of the definitions of wool. This is not hair. This is actually a wool type product um, that has uh, correct balance to it to hold it into 